Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim in the Sefer Mitzvah Zakatzar, Mitzvah number 41. As we began yesterday, the positive commandment, the Chabed of the aim to honor our father and our mother. This week's Pasha, Chabed es avicha vesimecha. Im armalai of you, if your father says to you, Hashkeni maim, please give me water to drink, I'm thirsty. V'yesh lafan of eza mitzvah lasais, and you have another mitzvah that is in front of you to do. Let's say you have to put on your tefillin. Let's say you have to give some tzedakah. Let's say there's a chesed opportunity that's waiting for you. Im efshel la mitzvah shete asay al yidei acherim. If it's possible for you to do the, for someone else to do the mitzvah for you, somebody else can give the tzedakah. Somebody else can can do the chesed, somebody else can be involved in whatever mitzvah that you are in, supposed to be engaged in, and your father is asking you at the same time to do a mitzvah of taking care of him, then yasek b'chvod aviv, then you're obligated to honor your father. You leave the mitzvah over to somebody else, and you then go and you honor your father the way that he's asking you to do. Im eina mitzvah yechod al-asah however, if it's a mitzvah that cannot be done by anybody else, for example, you need to put on tefillin for yourself in the morning, and your father then calls you and he says, do me a favor, sonny boy, can you bring me a drink? Yase a mitzvah, since that you are engaged in that mitzvah already beforehand, is already the one that is in front of you, you do that mitzvah first, and then only afterwards are you going to go and be mechabit and honor your father and your mother in the proper way. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants a world which is filled with mitzvahs. HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants us to be able to engage in the mitzvahs as much as is humanly possible for us. When you have a dilemma between serving HaKadosh Baruch Hu and serving your father, so if somebody else can do the service of Hashem with that mitzvah, then you leave the mitzvah in somebody else's hand. And since that you are the only one that has the mitzvah to to honor your father and mother, you go and you serve your father. However, if there's no one else to do that mitzvah, for example, it's a mitzvah that's only meyuchad, only special to you, so then the, it says the Chavetz Chaim, you have an obligation to take care of that mitzvah, and then although the Chavetz Chaim doesn't say it, it's somewhat obvious, then you will go and you will take care of the kibbutz aim, honoring your father and your mother. Says the Chavetz Chaim, on the other hand, if your father says, do a particular Avera, a certain type of sin, even if he's telling you only rabbinical Averas, he tells you, eat your food without making a bracha, go ahead, what's the big deal? He tells you, what, do you have to put on filling this morning? You put it on yesterday, what's the big deal? Even if your father tells you, he tells you rabbinical laws, the, till it, the the tefillin is, midaraisa is a, t- a biblical obligation, but in, in general, whether he tells you to transgress a biblical obligation, a Torah obligation, or a rabbinical obligation, says the Chavetz Chaim, yishma loy, you do not pay heed to your father, do not listen to him. Shekulam chayovim yichvat Hashem Yizor, because everyone, even your father, has an obligation to honor HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And he's telling you not to disgrace Hashem and to shame HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Shame on him, we say, we do not listen to what he has to say. So that's a tricky area, depending on who your father and your mother are. If they're good, ehrlich, from people who have a knowledge of halacha and what is an aver and what is a mitzvah, so then, Baruch Hashem, most likely they're not going to ask you to do anything that's against the Torah. If they are people that are lax in their Torah and their mitzvahs, and they themselves are involved in things that are not appropriate in the eyes of Hashem. They themselves don't keep the Torah and the mitzvahs in the proper way. So then it's very likely that they could ask you to do something which is a great contradiction to HaKadosh Baruch Hu's will. Says the Chavetz Chaim, you don't listen to them. They're wrong, and you are right to be mechaber HaKadosh Baruch Hu. As much as we have a mitzvah to honor, to honor our parents, there's a greater mitzvah to honor Hashem. And if our parents are asking us to do something which is a, is a disgrace and a chila Hashem, and that says the Chavetz Chaim, you do not listen. Have a wonderful day.